with you. I can be sad with you. Just take my hand and fly up through the dreams where the skies are so clear with you. I wanna stay. morning let's do our makeup together like anyone over this past week i've been like <laughs> like obsessed as an underestimation of how deep into the sofia ritchie hole that i dug <laughs> i had a couple of days that i took off because i worked really hard for my coaching exam and a couple of sponsors um by the way, I passed the exam, so thank you so much to everyone who's congratulated me. But I gave myself a couple of days off, and I'm really liking this direction that new trends are taking, so I thought we should do the little makeup together, inspired by her keeping it au natural. <laughs> Opening a new Beauty of Joseon sunscreen. I am on repeat with these. I've orchestrated a little picnic today with the girls, because I was kind of sad that I feel like I've been missing out on all of the good weather. I've been sitting inside on all the days where it's been really nice weather. I've gone through a billion different types of foundations and cushions, but I've always gone back to the NARS. Um, what is this called? NARS Pure Radiant Protection Aqua Glow Cushion Foundation. And the reason for this is that I apply a very little amount and it just doesn't cake up and it looks so natural. It barely looks like I have anything on, honestly. As Sophia Ritchie said in one of her videos, <laughs> I'm that obsessed. Always blend it down. Because you never know what others are going to see that you didn't see. The perfect pair. This is the NARS concealer. I'm honestly the lightest shade right now. Hopefully that'll change within this summer. This is the area that really usually gets cakey. So I try not to over conceal there because you can always see the line that it creases. And I don't want that look. I want it to look like I'm not wearing anything, you know? Powder it up. I always use this one from um, Too Cool For School just because it sort of sets the makeup, but it doesn't mattify you, which we like the natural glow. There's nothing I want more than some of these like um, contour sticks or like liquid contour. I can't find it in Korea. I don't know why. Like, and also I don't trust the Korean brands when it comes to like bronzing and contouring that much, to be honest. <laughs> and then the same contour, I am usually just doing my nose a little bit. I never really know if it makes much difference, but I always do it. Benefit precisely my brow pencil. This one is like, the only pencil that I've ever used that I can really sculpt my eyebrows really easily. And speaking of eyebrows, I've really been kind of wanting to, when I go back in to get my microblading refilled on my hairline, I kind of want to do my eyebrows just because the less makeup that I have to apply, the better sort of. I want to have a really natural summer. <laughs> Obviously, we gotta set the eyebrows. I don't really want to do much with my eyes, I just want to create a little bit of depth and I have this sort of bronzy shimmer from Dear Dahlia. I think it's... I think it might be good. Let's try to see. Just a little bit, right? <gasps> okay, the same that goes for eyeliner. I have hooded eyes and I feel like I've found the perfect sort of technique. I just take it right at the corner, like not at the upper lash line, but right where the lower lash line and the upper lash line meet. And then I drag out and then I just take a little bit of a dense brush and blend it out so that it's nice and smooth. Voila! Now you just have like a tiny little bit of a line that goes out and extends the eye a little bit. And it's gonna be like invisible behind the mascara. Which is why I like it. Now my eyes just look bigger, you know? <laughs> I feel like this has been my holy grail for the past almost two years. The Fieve Hyperfit Serum. But this is a blush, and I think you can also use it for like other areas. But it's just so sheer and beautiful. It stays like um, wet, which we like that look, right? 
and then just a natural gloss on the lips. There we go. This is sort of like the base that I've done for forever, but I'm just tweaking the eyes a little bit to make them more natural, as you can see. I never really use any filters on my videos, so what you see is what you get. <laughs> look how nice that the base looks. It doesn't look cakey anywhere, which is what we're going for. I have to prepare some food because we're doing like a potluck style for the picnic. Um, and first I have to go to the studio to shoot some photos with Steffi. So I think we need to go grocery shopping now so we don't, don't get late. <laughs> These are called tamwe, but um, they're in season right now in Korea and they taste kind of like, um, what is that called? Honey melon? It's so good. And I'm gonna make my dad's salmon rolls that he taught me how to do. There wasn't any flavored cream cheese, so I'm gonna make my own flavored cream cheese. Yummy. Let's get cooking. With you, I can be sad with you. Just take my hand and fly. This is the same studio that I filmed um, a campaign for Beauty of Chusan when I made the Kualsa. On the way here, I was listening to a new playlist that I've been making. It's called The Summer Dream. I used to back in the day curate playlists for the mood that I wanted the summer or the season to be. And this playlist in general, I'm just trying to make it really like summer in southern France kind of vibe, I would say. It's just, it's dreamy and it is romantic and it's calm and it's inspiring and it's very, very romanticizing life kind of feel. So yeah, I'm gonna put the information down here if you wanna go listen to it. I'm still working on it though. Stephanie should be here in 10 minutes time. So I think I'm gonna go down and get a little coffee for us first. And then maybe she'll be here when I'm back. This is so cute. He gave me some flowers. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> when you just decide to romanticize life, life starts romanticizing you, I swear. It wasn't really anything like, I think he was preparing lots of flowers for the flea market tomorrow, so I think it was just a spontaneous gift, but still, that's so sweet. <laughs> okay. Let's go up with this coffee to Stephanie. I think she might have arrived by now. Oh, hello! <laughs> Stephanie, she is doing a little uh, shoot that I'm helping her with with this bag. Oh, How beautiful oh, is that? New baby! This is very summer-like. When you're going to France next month, this is going to be perfect. This will be a staple. Look at that. Wow. Let's take some cute photos. living life. This is like the best thing ever for them. <laughs> okay, we're heading to Seoul Forest. The weather is honestly questionable. Right? It's it's gotten a little bit gray, but hopefully with with some extra blankets and some wine we can make that work. 
it's all about mindset when it comes to the weather. I love like dark weather and like <laughs> with your little little scarf in winter. I was like, are you kidding me? It's it's, it's, it's minus 10 degrees please you know but like fashion <laughs> uh, my grandma always said Cecil there is no such thing as bad weather there's only bad clothing choices that's what my dad says too I think that's like such like a parent thing yeah but it's true like if you're warm and snuggly every weather can be nice and you can sort of just change the mood like when it's dark like this I immediately get into like a cozy vibe so let's be cozy with blankets and doggies at the park very true to her name. Yeah, let's go set this blanket up. Let's go. Oh, yeah, it's so fun. Oh, oh. Mommy. Oh my god, I'm so excited to finally meet uh, Steph's dogs. Yes, we were well, just... Well, I mean, like, I can't compete with that. Yeah, okay. that's exciting. Like, Freya, this is amazing. Is it yours or was it Molly's? It's mine, it's but present. I got it last year and then it started getting cold and it was obviously, like, monsoon season. Okay, so yeah. I couldn't use it. But yeah, first time this year. Oh, my oh, God. It's very cute. It's, got, it's really old-fashioned. Now I feel like I need to up my game next to that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Tell me about it. Actually, but also... I'm ready to eat. Here's some salad, guys. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I only, I just like loosened them. Oh. Like, oh. tried my best to adhere to the color theory that I filmed in the, the last video. She said that something muted but cool tone and also skin color is nice on me so happy Sunday though guys. Um, we're going shopping for Jake because last time we went shopping I ended up stalling him for hours in another story. <laughs> so now it's a Jake shopping day. He has been wanting to sort of graduate out of the hoodies and baggy pants for a while now and uh, if you know my style, you know I'm all for that. So we're gonna see if we can find him some nice linen button-ups, something a little bit more summer in Europe vibes. Yeah. Set me free. Come on. like this too. It looks very comfy. Jake is so hard to find clothes for because he sort of knows what he wants but then he sees it in person and he's like he has a hard time making a decision and it's very hard to even get him to try stuff on. So let's see if we can find something. It is nice. Yeah I'm becoming a man. You're becoming a man. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have no idea how damn excited I am right now. Could you go, baby? It's really not a good So nice. So nice. Wow, baby, I'm so proud of you right now. I think I could cry. Is this too big? Can't you see? Come on, little girl. All you gotta do is set me free. Just the oversized t-shirt you're worrying about? Okay. It's very drapey, so... Yeah, it actually looks like so it, right? good with these pants, baby. Yeah. This is cute. Is what like, do you think? I think a criminal. <laughs> a criminal? No criminal is wearing linen, I swear. <laughs> All you gotta do is set me free.
guys, good morning and happy Monday. It's Labor Day today in Korea, so it's a day off. Everyone is out on the street, which kind of gives a really holiday vibes. I'm seeing Hattie today, which is really nice. I haven't seen her one-on-one -on -one in like months. It's been so long, so that's gonna be a really nice girl catch up. But then also, I shared this video a couple of weeks ago on my stories from Mel Robbins. We all love Mel Robbins, you know how obsessed I am with her. But she talked about the looking for hearts concept, living life looking for hearts. What that means is like, you know, probably on a, on a daily basis, there are so many moments where there is something heart-shaped around you, but you didn't notice it because you're not paying attention to it, right? So if you ask me, that's pretty much the mindset that romanticizing life is about. You are intentionally looking for hearts or looking for like romantic moments. So I want to do that today and the rest of my life. I'm wearing a super simple outfit today. I really wanted to just have a simple, simple fit. People are so freaking nice here. It's crazy. We're just walking up the street and like several people start chatting to us. I love that. Let's go in and have a look at some vintage stores. That's so cute. Oh my god, that is so you, Hati. The color is really nice on you. It's a sale rack over there. Someone who really like Lacoste that's been like dropping off a bunch of stuff. Look at this skirt I just found. Like having a little low waisted movement. That is so cute. I've never been on the street before, but there's so many cute little like stores. Have you been here before? We're just getting lost, which is sort of the best way of exploring Seoul, I feel like. It's hard to find places if you are looking for them. Up. It's only Iman on. Oh, that's really cute. So, you know, like Korea or Seoul in general, Korea actually in general, inside the cities are not particularly beautiful. Like, Seoul is just not very pretty, but the thing is, it's so charming, and the more that you look for, like for example, the electrical wires in the sky, or like the little electrical boxes on the buildings, and you know, if you put on those kind of glasses when you look around, it starts to look really romantic and really cute. Isn't that true? Like, it's not very particularly beautiful in Korea, but it's just, it has such a charm. Yeah, it's charming. I feel like the longer you live here, the more beautiful it gets, though. Exactly! That's so true. Because you start to understand the like, history behind things. Mm hmm exactly. Nice. Mm. I got these new really cute sandals. I've been wanting um, some new sandals for summer that had a little bit of a kitten heel. Look how cute! It's like slippers with a heel. And I'm going to an event with Stephanie today. It's just for a makeup brand and usually you don't really dress up much for them, but... You know that feeling when you just get something new and you really just can't wait to wear it? So I sent a photo to Stephanie and I was like, oh, I really want to wear this, but I think it's a little too much. And she texted me, Cecil, you never know if today is the last day you're alive, so might as well. And I thought that was quite extreme. And it made me a little scared, but it also made me very hopeful and very like, you know what? 
F that. I'm going to wear my new kitten heels. I don't really know what to wear with them though. I was thinking either this dress. It's uh, the dress I bought a couple of weeks ago. But maybe, maybe a dress and the heels a bit too much. I should really stop saying that. I also were thinking of my skirts. This is my little long skirt collection of a brown, green and blue one. And then I could just put it up with my basic white tee. Okay, let's try something on. Option number one. This definitely is a bit much. This is idea number two. And then with any of the other skirts, of course. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like Matilda Durf right now. Probably because these two items are both from her brand, but... Hmm. I did it. I was this close to changing to a black skirt. <laughs> but seriously, I've done that trick way too many times. I need to I need to wear some more colors, so I'm happy with this choice. <laughs> Okay, Steffi and I, we uh, finished the event and we just got a really, really, really golden idea which is to just have a little bit of look around some stores and then head back um, and have some wine. <laughs> I don't know why I'm <laughs> It's like... I so, so about it. I mean, it's just because it's just, it's warm and I'm craving ice cold rosé oh, and it just doesn't get better than that. And yeah. we're standing in front of an incense store and it just smells amazing. Smell Somehow Steffi and I, we finished a whole bottle of wine, just chilling here out on the terrace, talking deep. I have the girls right here next to me. Steffi, she's at the toilet. <laughs> They're just <laughs> waiting patiently for her to come back. I think I've realized since the last video that I made about romanticizing life that one of the biggest things that honestly made the biggest difference as well was, uh, was to like slow down on everything that I do consciously do things slower because when Is this I... Is why you were eating so slowly? <laughs> I read very quickly. <laughs> but honestly, like, doing things, just not only just doing things slower, but speaking slower, allowing yourself to think slower, especially because I have the tendency to really hurry things up. Like, when I'm under stress, I function very highly. Like there are two different types of people, right? You either function very highly under stress or very lowly under stress. That was the wrong way to describe it, but... So doing life slower somehow always has made me be more on time now. I was always late. I still am late quite often, but... I'm more efficient now, which is sort of contradicting I feel like I think I, I expected the opposite now that I'm slower I am more conscious and I'm more mindful and it's done the biggest difference I'm also able to see the beauty of the world right now even better which is amazing which is magical so that's my tip for you <laughs> I'm going to bed the sound is ridiculous good night I'll see you next Thank you.